Let's understand dependency injection in Java. But first, let's take a step back to examine where it all started. In the traditional approach, we had to manually create objects in a class. That means, if class A depended on class B, we had to create an instance of class B within class A. But this approach led to problems, like tight coupling between classes. This means that a change in class B would then require modifications in class A and other classes that depend on class B. This is where dependency injection comes to the rescue. With dependency injection, a class explicitly defines the classes it needs in the constructor. Then a separate entity, known as an IOC container, creates these class instances and injects them into the constructor of the provided class. Connect with Microservices Lab.